Hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back. This is the official K-pop tier list. I want to clarify that unless an artist is in the F tier, I do actually like them, just because an artist is in E or D doesn't mean I dislike them. As there are many groups in the industry there are only a couple I will be naming for each video as examples. And remember these are simply my opinions and feel free to disagree with them in the comments below. The F tier belongs to artists who, well nicely put, are just not it for me. J Park. He had one song on the Oh My Ghost soundtrack and I was astounded, I loved that song and still do, and could not believe that the voice singing the song Eyes was J Park, like J Park, this man. J Park simply does not make music for my demographic, and that's all I'll say about that. Is one. I have, for the life of me, tried to get into their music, but Fiesta and Violetta just hurt my ears. The video for Violetta is so pretty I wish that the song sounded as pretty as the visuals they were giving me. I don't think I will ever become a fan of their music but who knows because it took me two years to like Blackpink so anything is possible. Alexa I saw Alexa get a lot of hype and to say the least I was intrigued. Especially because she is from Oklahoma and like have you ever heard of an idol being from anywhere other than LA and maybe New York, because let me tell you other than Eric Nam I sure as shit have not. Then I listened to her song and could not stand it, and recently listened to her new song and do not like that either. Her music has just been in a style that I do not completely enjoy and I feel like maybe they should have stuck her in a group. Everglow Everglow has had, in my opinion, a decline. Bon Bon Chocolate was great, then Adios and Dun Dun sound pretty much the exact same. I feel like they had so much potential to be different, but their music not only sounds the same but I feel like their concept is just them following the trends and attempting to be trendy. Dun Dun to me had the most potential to be different and better but they added the beat drop and pretty much just ruined it and made it sound the same as their other songs. I have decided to add along with examples of artists in the tier of K-pop, concepts that rank within these specific tiers. I am aware that multiple videos can have a range or combination of several concepts, but I am going to try and separate just based on concept and not song, because like I said multiple concepts can be put into a singular video. The F concept goes to a visual concept, in which like the category suggests, are just not for me. These go to most stylistic choices that feature cultural appropriation. I do not really think I have to explain the simple concepts of why it is wrong, if you have common sense, but other than that it just looks weird and wrong. Whenever I see a male idol with dreads, especially when that person is my bias or I like them, my heart breaks into a billion pieces. Yes lots of people do it, that does not make it okay. That is it folks. Stay tuned to next time where I will give my opinions on the next tier of K-pop. If you want to keep up with me social media will be in the description, or you can subscribe and turn my post notifications on to be notified when I upload a new video.